today we are going going to see a new ui style so the story view style which is if you have opened instagram like and if you have clicked on anyone's story you see that we see the number of tabs and like there are like 10 to 15 seconds the slider that starts from left to right and once that slider is on the rightmost part a new story comes up and i think on whatsapp also on the status bar we can see something like stories right so this feature is very common and becoming a very common thing so if you are creating a social media type of application it and you think about adding the story style then this ui f feature would be very helpful um, so in flutter we actually have a package so that package is called story view um, so we'll start with importing that um, story view and currently the version if you google the latest version is 0 0.13.2 so i'll do pub get um, once this is done yeah okay let it be so in the meantime the dependency is adding let's remove all of these extra things i don't need floating action button um, let's refresh this uh, button is gone and similarly I'll be adding things to the body so let me remove everything till here right so right now I'll be creating a container okay now inside this container let me give it a height of for begin with 500 now the package that we had stored the story view right so the way it works is we get a widget called story view um, if it's not there we should be able to import it yes because we have the package now this story view uh, this thing basically takes in an array so this array basically is story items so story items array it takes and in that let's say if i have one story two story three story any number of stories i can add right so in our case let's say we'll go with an example of three stories um the stories can take three different types right like one is if you just have a text story you have seen in instagram you can create a text story so you can do that another one is you have an image story so in image also you have an inline image and one another one is a different one where the image takes a background with some text or image is on the overlay right and the other one is the video type of story that you have some moving video and then you add it right so right now in this example i'll go with a text and image story um, if you go to the documentation you can find the video style as well so currently it's giving me uh, this thing that we need to add a story items before that i also gonna add a controller so the story controller what this controller does is um, let's say in instagram you must have seen that if you want to stop someone's story um, you if you keep tapping on it like a long press thing it stops there and then you can view or read the story more accurately so this controller is required for that reason so i'm gonna add this controller um story what is the name of okay, the controller okay so this controller takes care of that uh, we don't need to implement any other functionalities for it and then we have the story items so the story items is basically gonna take um, an array so we can have any number of items in this for now let's say if i add story item um, dot text right and story item dot text and it will take some title um, let's say title as hello world how are you doing something um, similarly oh uh, i think yeah similarly i can have a background color let's say the colors is colors dot um, uh, let's say green right and then rounded top true um, let's run this and see 
if we get any story awesome so you saw we get a story saying hello world how are you doing with a green background and we have this thing if i if i keep a double press you see it stopped in the middle the bar the with the long press that's because of the story controller and it keeps on going now we can add uh, more story items to it um, let's say another one will be story image oops uh, yeah that's the correct one inline image um, let me have the controller okay so url let me go ahead and grab a url i had it kept with me so url will be the string right and then we have the controller and then um, if you want to give a caption to it so caption will appear on top of the image so let me give a text and maybe i can say image caption right and then i can give it a style textile color colors dot white background color colors dot black 54 font size 17 cool so once that is done let's run this and we should see two of those stories so we see here and the other one is uh, is it taking time to load the image i'm not sure but the image caption is happening right uh, okay uh, and one has a missing plugin uh, io get temporary unhandle exception no implementation found okay i think it's related to the image part um let me try with another image let me check why we are getting this error because we shouldn't get this error so it worked basically i had to add or maybe restart my app again um in order to show you what i did i basically added a story item which was inline image um i can add another one um i have another link with me so let me copy paste this one and and i will change the link of this and let's see so we have to i'll stop here let's see to the next this is works okay this okay this also worked yeah so it took some time i had to restart it but it worked finally um and yeah that's all for this video it was very straightforward story view thing um if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah follow me on instagram thanks everyone